Hey people of the future, great news, thanks to some amazing people out there, one of the biggest issues of Sonic Frontiers has been pretty much fixed. The ugly pop-in is no more. Early on there was a lie spreading on the internet that the pop-in was due to some engine limitation that was impossible to fix. And as you can see, now we have proof that you shouldn't trust a stranger just because they are or claim to be game programmers. Doesn't this look great? I think it really does, and here's how you actually do it. Go to Game Banana and find Higher Object Pop-In Mod for Sonic Frontiers. Link is in the description, or you can just Google it. Once there, scroll down and click this download link. You'll get a zip archive, inside of which you'll find several groups of hacked game files. Now, before we proceed, here's a quick explanation of the fix. As I said in my Sonic Frontiers review, this pop-in issue is not some engine problem. It's not actually even pop-in. It's simply a performance optimization where uh, in-game objects are configured to disappear from view at a certain distance from the player. Apparently, the distance values that the game shipped with are taken from the Switch version of the game, which is optimized for Switch's relatively weak hardware. So what this fix, or you may call it a hack, what it does, it changes these distance values, making objects visible from farther away. And these folders you see in the zip file you just downloaded, they correspond to the multiplier that was applied to the distance values. So the 1x folder contains the untouched files the game comes with. The 2x folder has the distances doubled, and so on. You can try all of them, but for me 5x worked perfectly. With 10x, the game started crashing, but your mileage may vary. Let's use the 5x for the example. Go to this folder here, this is in your Sonic Frontiers directory, and now simply copy all the files from the 5x folder into the game directory, overriding the original file. And that's it, you're done. Launch the game and enjoy. If you need to revert your changes, either use the 1x folder from the zip, or use a backup of your own original files, which you should always make prior to messing with game files. Not just for this game, just a good thing to do in general. And that's it for today. I hope this was useful, thanks for watching, please comment, like and maybe even subscribe to the channel, and if you haven't already, please check out my full review of Sonic Frontiers.